And to our viewers, I've flipped the uh, CP out of this device. This bloody the heatsink compound glue on there was stronger than I thought, that's for damn sure. So I got that off there, and that heatsink's gonna go on the um, CPU, the video processor chip on this one. Video, video processor, I'm gonna stick it on top of that one, see if it makes a bit improve this TV. I have a feeling it might. So we'll see how it goes. So uh, it's a bit of a line going through the screen, it's a faint line, typical of freaking plasmas, but at least I've fixed it though. If the owners are happy with it like that, then I'm happy if they're happy. Anyway, let's uh, get this thing stuck on. I might just take a heat sink compound and some other. It's a little bit of um, around the edge. I might use some. Um... Oh, what is that stuff? Bit of nail gaps or silicon will do. I haven't got any actual heat of this sort of adhesive heat sink glue, but I've got to get this old stuff off. And that's pretty challenging. Let's roll stuck on there. Okay, well, I've got the heat sink on there. Put a big blob of heat sink on, but in the middle. And just around the edges, I put a slight layer of um, silicon, just so it sticks it on. Yeah, as I said, I don't have any actual heat sink glue based heat sink compound, so I'll just mix a bit of silicon um, all around the edges and put the big blob of heat sink compound in the middle and just squashed it out. That actually worked, worked out quite well. Looks good now. The more expensive TVs have a heat sink on chips like that. Don't Oh, it doesn't, no, that doesn't get hot anyway. I thought that one, that one um, runs course. It's just I knew what the problem is. Anyway, let that dry and I'll give this one more good dust out and give it a good test. Hopefully this will fix it. Yeah, it's um, got that line going through the screen on the plasma panel. So it's not worth actually buying a whole new board if it's got that line going through the screen. It's a lot, you can only just see it, but it's noticeable, so... That's the freaking thing with plasma TVs, they just don't bloody last. Even the good ones. I really like those induction coils. I can actually uh, put them on the ZVS induction heater. That'd be handy for that. More there, which I've got on the other circuit board I took out of this. Hook them up to my ZVS and make, they make good induction heater coils. Yeah, it's funny. It just still flashes a lot on this on this board, so it must be a problem problem somewhere else with this bloody TV. This is flashing the, um, the green light. The LED just flashes some sort of a fault code. Although it's this board or something else is playing up on this bloody thing. But the screen lights up briefly and turns off, and then this flashes the uh, oh, the fault light. This is all running okay. But yeah, it's just. Chinese freaking TVs, not meant to last. Behind here we've got the Samsung. That's made in Seranban, China. Yeah, that's a Chinese made Samsung panel. Made in Korea, genuine Korean LG this one. Korean made stuff nowadays, just like Japanese stuff back then, so hard to get there. You gotta look carefully when you buy these brands. The price is still the same with the exact same thing that's made in China. Anyway. Let's that dry and I'll give it a good dusting and put it back together. Anyway. This shitty electronics is good little uh, good for little spares like that. Perfectly good heat sink was fitted perfectly on that. This is a HD processor to the Telstra T-Box. Let's get a reading off this, see what it actually says. I'll give it a bit of a clean. See what it says on there. It's hard to clean. That glue is hard to get off. Maybe I can scrape it off with this knife. So let's see if I can scrape it off with this knife and get a good reading on this chip. Yeah, it works better. Let's have a look. S Multi HD made in Taiwan. It's like the Silicon Valley of Taiwan. It's the Silicon Valley of the world, actually. Small country, but it's a big impact and technologically a big superpower. Sigma something. Let's let's see. I'll get a good reading on this, so give these guys a. Uh, you see what's under these bloody heat sinks or these electronics. 
Uh, yeah, scrap that off. Let's say Sigma something. Sigma, I can't get that one off. Oh, Sig Sigma Designs. Uh, Sigma Multi HD PH 868.00, and it's got Taiwan where it's made. Let's have a look. And it's got secure or something. Yeah, it's just probably look these numbers up and see what this actually is. It's a um, part, of, part of the HD processor um, for the picture. And it says on there multi HD secure media processor 1051. Yeah, that's the processor for the HD signal. Of course, this would be a lot more bigger and powerful for 4 and 8K TVs. You want to have to put a freaking big heatsink on things like that now. There we go, that's the HD, the processor, the brains of it. The CPU behind this T, -T box. And, and, and it's also the um, for the HD part of it, the display driver is that. The, pretty much the GPU. That's pretty much what it is. It's a GPU slash CPU. And this is a RAM, El Peter. I think it's one gigabyte of RAM, I think. So that's 256, 256, 512, and 512, one gigabyte of RAM. Net gem, that's the firmware on there, which has been flashed with Telstra's rubbish firmware. Anyway, these are good for the hard drives. Pick them up cheap enough, they're good for hard drives. For the, there's a spare to use for um, external uh, storage and um, things like heat sinks, even a battery if you wanted the spare part. So these aren't that disposable, but you get a good uh, Wi Fi bloody thing out of them too. Anyway, let it be enough for now. Thanks for watching.